المثال الطالب الأول إلى أين تذهب؟ Where are you traveling to? Or where are you going? إلى أين تذهب؟ Where are you going? الطالب الثاني أذهب إلى المسجد الحرام. I am going to مسجد الحرام. الطالب الأول first student لماذا؟ Why? الطالب الثاني لي أصلي الجمعة to pray the جمعة to pray the Friday prayer. So تذهب you are going, أذهب I am going. أصلي I am praying. Before this you have studied that preposition gives كسرة to a noun. Like here you see preposition إلى has given كسرة to مسجد. But here you will see that the preposition لي gives fata to the verb so remember preposition gives kasra to a noun and preposition gives fata to a verb remember this thing anybody any question now raise your hand if you want to read it Raise your hand. Miss Satya, you are first student, and Miss Rahma, you are second student. Sati, I can't hear you. Ila, Ila, Aina, Tashabu, where are you going? Do you hear me now? Yes, no, I can hear you. Azabu, Ila, Masjid, Ila, Haram. I'm going to Masjid, Masjid, Ila, Haram. Limaza, why? Li usalli yal. Li juma. Li usalli yal. Li usalli yal juma, okay? Li usalli yal juma. I can say I'm correction. إلى أين تذهب؟ إلى أين تذهب؟ أذهب إلى المسجد النبوي لل لل أذهب إلى المسجد Okay, I saw Abu Ila al Masjid Nabi. Just stop after Masjid Nabi. You will just say, I saw Abu Ila al Masjid Nabi. Then Miss Satya will ask Limaza. Then you will say, Li Usal Li Yal Fajra. Repeat this one again from the beginning. Ila Aina Tazabu. Where are you going? Azabu illa al-Masjid al-Nabawi. Limaza. Limaza, why? Li usalli al-Fajr. Li usalli al-Fajr. 
Okay, Nin Nusol Ni Yan Fajr. Ila Anata Zabu Azabu Ila Masjid Bilal Limaza Li Usalil Zohor Li Usalil Li Usalil Zohor Ila Anata Zabu as Abu Ila al Masjid al Usman. Ila Abu Usman. No Alif Lam. As Abu Ila al Masjid Usman. Li Maza. Li Usalli Yel Asr. Now, Mr. Rama, you are first student. Na. You are now first student. You will ask the question. No. Aina tazhab. Ila aina tazhabu. Okay. Ila aina tazhab. Azhabu ila masjid. Azhabu ila masjid Ali. Ila masjid Ali. No alif lam. Um. Ah, no, Ashabu ila masjidi Ali. Lima, Tazab ila masjidi Ali. Limaza, you just say Limaza. Okay, Limaza. Limaza. Li usalil maghrib. Li usalil maghrib. Li usalil maghrib. Um. Li usalliyal maghrib. Ila ayna tazabu. Ashabu ila ila masjidi. Masjidi, right? Faizalin. Ashabu ila masjidi faizalin. Li maza. Li usalliyal. Isha. Li usalliyal Isha. Ila ayna tazab. Ashabu ila al-masjidil haram. Li maza? Li usalliyal fajar. Li usalliyal fajar. Al-tadrib al-tani. Isal kama fil misal. Isal mean ask the question. Like the one in the example. Ask. Like in the example, al misal, Limaza anta musafirun ila Makkah. Why are you traveling to Makkah? So, for male musafirun, for female musafiratun, who wants to read, raise a hand? Before this, we have studied that preposition gives kasra to noun, but here we see a noun and we have a preposition, but it has fatah. So, preposition gives fata to proper feminine noun. Preposition gives fata to proper feminine noun. Who wants to read? Raise her hand. Okay, Ms. Serena, ask these questions. Okay. Mm. I I read first the al misal. Yes. Okay. Limaza anta musafirun ila Makkah. And then Limaza anti musafirun. Ilal Madina. Musafir is male and, and Anti is female. Anti um, Musafiratun. Oh, oh yes, sorry, sorry. Okay. Limaza Anti Musafiratun Ilal Madina. And then Limaza Hua uh, Hua Musafirun Ila Misri. And then Limaza 
hiya musafiratun ila turkiyi turkiya oh turki turkiya oh yeah sorry and then limaza anta musafirun ila suriya tadribus salis Exchange the dialogue with your colleague, like the one in example Al Misad. A talibul of Wulda il Munabbiha Bijani Bika. Put the alarm clock on your side or beside you. Put an alarm clock beside you. A talibus sani has he fikratun the This is a nice idea. This is a good idea. So Munabia is object of the sentence that why it has for the so who wants to read raise her hand? Miss Rabi Shi who you are first student and Miss Rahma you are second student. Assalamu alaikum. Ms. Rama, unmute your microphone. Continue. Da il munabbatu. Da jani bika. Da il munabbiha. Da il munabbiha. Bijani bika. Ms. Rama, are you available? Azihi Fikrotum Toyibatum. Next Da Iel Da Il Munabaha Da Il Kurana Da Il Kurana Bijani Biki Azihi Pikrotum Toyibatum Da il Da il Likitaba Likitabi Bijani Biki Da il Kitaba Ja Da il Kitaba Bijani Biki Bijani Bika because at the moment we are considering that he is she is a female. And also Da is Sahifata because of Shada Ali Flam are silent. Da is Sahifata Bijani Bika. Da is Sahifat Sahifata Bijani Bika. Azihi Fikrotum Toyibatu. Da il Fakihata Bijani Biki. Bijani Bika. Bijani Bika. Bijani Bika. Azihi Fikrotum Toyibatu. Da da is shy, a shy, shy, a shy, a shy, a shy, a shy, a shy, a Da il lima'a bijani bika. Da il ma'a. Da il ma'a bijani bika. Hazihi fil kurotum toyibatum. Da il nazarata bijani bika. Da il nazarata. Da il nazarata bijani bika. Hazihi fil kurotum toyibatum. This verb da is only for male. When we order a male 
person to do something to put something then we ask him the for female we say the enemy we use ya also atribu rabbi tabadal hiwara ma zameeni ka kama misal exchange the dialogue with your colleague <coughs> like the one in the example so we have let me we know that to hear alif lam will be used for or not when we use this one i know it's used for perform someone is asking how we know that hear alif lam will be used or not we use these words i know it's used for proper noun <clears throat> miss kinza kindly ask your question now unmute your first then i will understand your question properly are you available miss kinza you have asked a question i think she is not available so tadrib rabi al misal ana zahibun ila al masjid i am going to masjid at talib usani intazir wait ana zahibun maaka i am going with you so intazir is also fairly a more imperative verb so i told you whenever we order someone to do something we use sukoon at the end of the verb so nothing else in the head so who wants to read raise your hand miss amin abdi hasan you are first student and miss satia you are second student and this verb intazir is only for male miss satia okay. assalam alaikum wa alaikum, wa alaikum assalam ana dah ana dahibun ila al masjid in in tasir then how how is we call it for female in taz in taziri in we will study female later not in the right now ah uh ah -uh. okay 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 no in tazir ana sahibun maaka ana dahibun ila al madrasa madrasati in tazir ana sahibun maaka ana tadhabu ila al bayti ana tadhabu ana zahibun daibun yes tadhabu mean you are going zahibun going yes. okay dahibun okay intazir ana sahibun maaka ana dahibun ana dahibun ila tusalli ila al musalla ila al musalla ya ila al musalla ana dahibun ila al musalla intazir ana sahibun maaka no miss satya your first student um ana sahibun ila makkah antadir ana dahabun maaka intazir intadir intazir now listen i um, tell you very important thing here now the question is why okay we am using tasra with alif here okay why i am not using the more fata here so first thing this is an imperative verb okay so in imperative word after the sukoon if we have the ma here then we will use the ma with alif okay but if we don't okay. have the ma like we have fata or kasra here then we will use kasra with the alif listen again everybody if in imperative verb in imperative word when we are ordering someone to do something if we have dhamma after the sukoon then we will use dhamma with alif 
but if we don't have dhamma after the sukoon then we will use kasra with alif okay i hope you all understood now continue ana sahibun ilal madinati intadir intadir ana dahabun maaka ana sahibun ilal shakka intadir ana dahabun maaka zahibun dahibun maaka التدريب الخامس حول كما في المثال convert like the one in the example okay how, here you will learn how to convert a present tense into imperative tense fairly amar if anybody has any question she can ask me now before we start this one so here you will learn how to convert a present tense which is called muzare into imperative which is called fi'l amr okay so to convert a tense into <clears throat> uh, imperative we have three steps okay first uh, i will write the verb here yes tai ki jo yes tai ki jo <coughs> <coughs> so the first step that you will always do that you will remove the first half of muzari and you will replace it with alif so is tai ki so is tai yes tai ki so okay so the first step you remove the initial ya or what so so over here we have we will remove it and we will replace it with <coughs> alif okay this is the first step then second step what will we use on alif well whether we will do dhamma or kasra so you need to make a, a decision between dhamma and kasra so for that purpose you will look here if we have the ma here then you will put the ma on alif but if you don't have the ma here then you will give kasra to alif this is the second step okay this is the second step <clears throat> now the last step is to remove the last vowel and Jam, give it sukoon. So, we will write sukoon here. So, these are the three steps that we use to convert a present tense into imperative tense, a fail muzari into amar. Okay. If anyone has any question, she can ask me. Any issue? Any problem? Anything? You have time. <clears throat> next we have verb yak rao so who will <clears throat> guide me in converting this verb
Miss Rabi Shehu. Tell me how can I convert this verb? Mm. What is the first step that I need to do? Remove ya. Yeah. Okay, I will remove ya. Yeah. And what will I do? Mm, replace with Alif. Okay. Second step. Um to put it, um since it has the matin um not the matin supposed to be akara ikra. Okay, why it why we are giving it kasra? Because of the school. We always have school here. Yes. We have we don't have Dhamma here. If we have Dhamma after the school, then we give Alif Dhamma. But when we don't have Dhamma after the school, then we give it Kasra, okay? Yes. <clears throat> Next, third step. Mm. Third step. I don't know the third step. We remove the last vowel and replace it with the spoon. Okay. These are the three steps that we use to convert a present tense into past or failure mask. Yes. Thank you. Miss Kinza, once you are available, you can unmute your microphone. I will tell you how we are doing it. So next word is Yan Taziru. So who will tell me how to convert this verb into failure? Raise your hand. Yan Taziru. Okay, Ms. Rama. So what should I do here? First step. To remove the Dhamma. Okay. Which Dhamma? On the row. Okay. Okay. And put Sukun. Okay. So you are starting with the third step, okay? No. So what next? To remove the ya. Okay. I will remove ya. And what will I do here? You put alif. Okay, I put alif then. To put kasra. Why kasra? Because of the ta has fatia. Okay. If when I put the ma with alif. Huh? Eh? Okay, when we write the ma with alif, we can we can write do ma. Why? Because um, the third letter is fatia. Okay, if it has the ma, then we can write the ma. Okay, no problem. So intazir is imperative verb. Okay. Now, next word is yaknusu. Who will tell me about Yaknusu? Raise your hand. Yak Web to no. so, Okay, Miss Satya, what should I do here? So Ms. Satya, tell me, I can't hear you. Don't you hear me? No, I can hear you. <laughs> remove ya and replace Alif there. Okay, I remove ya 
and huh? replace it with alif okay then uh then we have to put dhamma on alif okay the monolith then uh then then we have to remove the ma on scene then and replace sukun on it okay so it become okunus okay so in this way we convert present muzari to imperative of amar okay anybody any question So I think Ms. Kinza wants to ask why we use Masjidul Nabawi, Masjidul Ali, okay. So in Masjid Ali, we are not using Alif Lam because Ali is a proper name. But Masjidul Nabawi, we are using Alif Lam because it, uh, it normally it is not definite. We are making it definite with Alif Lam. But the word Ali is already definite. So a word which is already definite, we cannot use alif lam with it. And also, masjid in that case is muzaf, so we cannot use alif lam with muzaf. Okay, anybody any question? Uh, 